is going on people today we're going to be talking about my three biggest questions going into this new game mode that has yet to be released and i'm guessing it's because they're still trying it out and they're seeing what needs to be changed what needs to be tweaked and maybe once they finally get it all right then they'll release it out to the main server but until then from what i have seen so far i do have three main things that i hope gets either fixed or maybe tweaked because if not there may be some issues and we'll get into that in just one second but before we do that let's take a closer look at today's sponsor Now this video is sponsored by the Ants Underground Kingdom and they also have some deals going on through the Huawei app which I'm sure most of you are very familiar with already but if not there will be links down in the description to download the game and also the Huawei app promotion so make sure you check that out but through there you also can get up to 50% bonus coupons and you also get some daily coupons the first daily coupon that you get you can only get once but the other two you can get daily and they also have a second offer that'll give you some extra goodies once you're in the game that you can claim right here once you're in the Huawei app you get some extra resources etc to get you started and if you run into any sort of issues they do have a discord that you can go into and uh, they will be able to help you if you have any sort of issues with uh, with anything that that's going on and so make sure that you go ahead and check it out links are going to be down in the description and thank you the ants underground kingdom for sponsoring this video now let's talk about three of the biggest question marks that i got coming into this new game mode because there's a lot of speculation still going on especially if they're going to be changing anything so the biggest thing that i see a lot of people asking about and kind of wondering about is the time frame is it going to be sticking to a multiple day type of event because there's a couple of things that I want to say about something like this because as you guys know with Lords Mobile a lot of the events have now been condensed into maybe a couple of hours Emperor being the maximum amount of hours uh, Baron was cut down to less than four hours now technically if you think about the 15 minutes prep time and all that Baron essentially be became a three hours and 45 minute fight and so for a game mode to come out and be days on days on days, it's kind of like going back to how things were when Wonder Bottle started at an hour and 30 minutes and every reset will reset it to an hour and 30 minutes for the base. And because of that, it went on for days sometimes. If you guys weren't around for when that used to happen, it was miserable, okay? So when they finally changed the uh, the 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 forts timing and all of that it was finally like okay well now wonder battles are generally one to two hours three or four max if it's like a really crazy one but for the most part they've kind of brought that down to only a couple of hours and everything now is an hour or two outside of like the big big events so for this event to be three, four days, it's kind of like going backwards to what they were originally moving away from, which was cutting down the event timing from maybe possibly days to just a couple of hours to going back to days, which is kind of interesting. And also the other thing is, since this is an event that you can go uh, and get into from the event section, kind of like how Chalice is, right so you go to chalice this break brings you into a completely different kingdom and it's going to be like an instance kingdom i would imagine right so that means that you're going to be taken away from your current kingdom so does that mean that everybody that's going to be doing this event is going to be moved from their kingdom into the uh the instance kingdom so we're going to have three or four days of kingdoms basically having no action 
no zeroing, nothing going on. The kingdoms are just going to look pretty empty just because everybody's going to be in this different area where if you lose troops, you don't really lose troops. So you see what I'm, what I'm getting at? Like during this event, yes, everybody's going to be in this instance kingdoms. But what about the people that maybe aren't? They're just going to be in an empty kingdom for four days. Like just kind of like just sitting there like whistling like, where is everybody? So that's kind of like, I really wonder how that's going to go. Days and days and days where the kingdoms are just, just nothing's happening in the kingdom. That's going to be, that's going to be quite interesting. The other big question is, will the rewards be improved? Because from what I saw in the test server, the rewards were mid at best. And uh, for an event that's going to be two, three, four days long, the rewards got to be worth putting in four days of work and having to actually be fighting for all those days because if you stop fighting well you're just gonna lose so then what happens like what if you lose and what are you actually getting rewarded for for four days of putting in that effort the rewards like i mentioned weren't very good and so i'm hoping that they see that or maybe it's because the bracket that we were on was so low that the real good rewards weren't shown but if it's not the case, then those rewards are not going to incentivize anybody to actually play the game. Because three, four days for, you know, a couple of couple speed ups, a couple of, it's just, it's not, it wasn't very good. So I get that competition will draw a lot of people to really try to win and all that. And I get it. But competition after a while won't be enough. Like you actually would need to have something tangible there that people need in their account that will improve their account or at least help them outside of this game mode a lot for you to be put in three to four days of your guild of non-stop fighting and defending and all of that because that's that's a lot that is a lot and the last and probably the biggest thing that will uh determine if this new game mode is going to be a hit or not is after you know, the first three or four times that people do it, because when something's new, everybody's going to like it. You know, it's, oh, it's it's new. It's the brand new toy, etc. Everybody's trying to figure out how to do it, strategies, etc., etc., right? But after those three or four times of you initially doing that game mode, is it still going to be fun? Is it still going to be enjoyable or will it become like a chore type of game mode that's like, oh, it's three or four days. My guild does it, so I have to do it. Is it going to maintain the fun factor? Because like, for instance, I'll give you an example. Dragon Arena, when the guilds are evenly matched and you're not going up against a super strong one or somebody that's way weaker than you. When it's like an evenly matched Dragon Arena, it's probably the funnest game mode in the game easily at least in my opinion maybe it's also because we get on a call and have fun you know and talk and all that but like in general a good evenly matched dragon arena is the most fun you can have probably in this game right now but is that game mode going to maintain that type of excitement etc because it's such a long drawn out game mode that people are just gonna start forgetting about it it's like oh that's right I've been here for three days like oh okay let me do I keep that excitement because if it doesn't and it doesn't really equate to people actually being excited after a while the rewards aren't very good then you can see how after maybe like a couple months four or five six months down the road it's not going to be a very popular game mode if people don't feel like they're being rewarded and if it drags on for too long so we'll see we will see. Um, I would love to hear what you guys have uh, as far as question marks regarding this game mode. Because, like I mentioned before, this game mode is still not finalized. It seems like they may still tweak some things. So, uh, that's why you haven't really seen any, like, big updates. Because when they finally have everything down, that's when they'll announce it. That's when they'll release it to the regular server. The regular server sometimes do have much much uh, higher rewards for uh, um, like barons and emperor etc the main the main servers usually have better rewards so i'm hoping that that's the case with this as well and that those rewards were just kind of the initial rewards 
but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, we'd love to hear your guys' comment about what you guys are expecting from this game mode and what you guys don't want from this game mode because everybody's kind of like making their own things in their head, but we won't really know until it's released. But yeah, appreciate you guys for coming through. Uh, once again, thank you the Ants Underground Kingdom for sponsoring the video and make sure that you go and check out those links below. And until later, bye!